Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and welcome back to our Liu Bei Let's Play. Uh, this is episode 5. We are currently at turn 27 in the autumn of 195. We have just retaken the seaport in Taishan in the last episode from Yan Liang's force. Uh, we have Guan Yu Du Yan Liang in the fight and kill him. Just off the coast, at the mouth of the Yellow River, we see Yuan Shao's uh, main force is Yuan Shao, uh, Wen Chou, and Xu Yu. Uh, they're heading down to attack me, I believe. Uh, my fourth is very healthy. In the last fight, I uh, only took a loss of 55 men. So we're pretty set uh, into taking this fight. I uh, just got to do a quick check to see if there's anything to build. No, uh, I've been trying very hard to bring this settlement uh, down to negative 100 because of the current war and the constant uh, events uh, boosting public order. We got to negative 96 and then it started bouncing back. Uh, eventually we'll get there. Uh, at least in the meantime, we can utilize the Shu Han tax collection for a nice 150 peasantry income. Um, Beihai and Long Ya uh, will both stay uh, as our farm towns. Uh, they would provide a little income, but they will not be our main focus. Alright, let's proceed. Oh. Okay, so I guess the fact that we wiped out Yan Liang's army is giving him second thoughts, but this is not really. He's asking for a. Uh, this is what? Bronze? So it's rare tier item. Just for a thousand gold and peace? No, we're, we're happy to fight his main force. He barely went anywhere. He just went up a little bit. I mean, it's winter now. He must be burning through military supplies. I wonder what Kong Rong's force is gonna do. I still haven't decided what to do with Kong Rong. Keep him around or maybe turn on him. Uh, we'll figure this out after we take care of Yuan Shao. Trades gained. Uh, Lu Fan, Lu Fan gained populist. Plus five satisfaction. That is great news. We have a new character available for hire and some building completion. Let's take a look at the characters. This is a level four sentinel, very high level. Uh, age thirty eight, not bad. Guard is generic. He does come with a free item, which is a plus. He comes with a very standard retinue. His buff uh, provides range block chance 50%. And he used to work for Konro. Interesting. He would make a good spy, but he's not available to spy for us. He is clever, gains experience but also careless. Well, it seems like a lot of cunning stats for a Sentinel, who could turn into an archery unit, but that is not how we want to play him. Yeah, we don't need to hire anyone. I'm not looking to expand into a second army. This is turn 28 though, so the Zhao Yun event is, hasn't happened for us. Probably means it won't happen for us. Jianyong uh, got a level. I plan to turn him into administrator. So we'll continue down the bottom row here. Um, we have a few buildings we could build. Alright, and don't we have finished leveling up this building? We could level it up one more time. Currently, the bonus for commerce is 150%. Uh, 
This is a 30 upgrade. 30 upgrade, okay. This might be the best upgrade in the group. This we're not going to do anything about. This provides one food, which is something we could consider. But with just a 30 flat income boost, this would be better with the additional 25% uh, commerce multiplier, as well as a 20 uh, flat income boost. Because the 25 will apply to the 60, the 160 that's already there, so that's already 40. Plus the 25. Yeah, this is better. It costs less too. So we're going to build this. Um, I just want to make note what tech this is. To see if I can get it quickly. Okay, I can. It's just the next tech down the tree. It provides another flat 115% commerce. Okay, we'll definitely go there. Okay. Um, we don't have to stay in the city. He's gonna come attack. I don't think ambushing will work. Because this seems so flat. Yeah, 45% ambushing. It's best we stay in the port. Uh, Taishan has a build spot, uh, spot available. The situation with Taishan is, I would like it to be a 4 slot city, but we don't have the food to support a 4 slot city. And we don't have the assignments for discounts, so all the upgrades are going to be almost full price. Yeah, we're going to hold off on building Taishan. We're very close in to getting an administrator. Uh, 18 more points and we're getting two a turn from characters yeah, that that begs the question what satisfaction level okay this one is 91 no 60 63 63 who is providing the plus two uh, all of a sudden after getting populous John Fei doesn't like Lufa anymore That's interesting. Guan Yu is providing one unity. John Fei is providing one unity. So I guess as, as long as they're green face, they will provide the unity. I don't understand why they didn't before. Alright, let's. I want Yuan Shao to come and get this fight over with. Alright, there you go. Sieging. Okay, so he's forcing us to go out and fight him in the field. That is fine. Wow. He formed a coalition with Liu Dai. This is this means I'm gonna go to war with Liu Dai very soon. I feel like it. Uh, Huang Fu Song has finally died. And this lady has taken over. Rolling borders. Okay, so we have a chance to destroy his siege equipments. Uh, at the cost of losing reserves. We can ignore it. Yeah, we can ignore it. We're going to take this fight to him. Do we have... Oh, that's barely any support. Okay. Well, that one turn attrition is so high. Well, this is an interesting map. There's a... Small shallow water in between us. 
It was slowed down infantry. There are a lot of water around us. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna try to utilize this water. Yes, we'll try to hit them when they're crossing. Don't want the f trees to interfere with the shots though. This should be fine. Alright, since we have... Do they have any range unit at all? Okay, they're either four archer militia. We'll leave that to the generals and the cavalry. to guard the flank, two units to guard the front, start crossing these water but then cavalry units I can loop around I don't know what's it seems like the best charge is from the right side but I'll be charging to all of these guys and the cap oh the cavalry is on the it's on our flank over here okay these two guys I guess Spread them out. You two go the opposite direction. Go straight. Nope, can't get it. Cool. Nice of you guys to show up. You can be our right flank. job is to wipe out the archers, their job is to distract by time for our catapult to do damage. Alright, they're already splitting off some force to take care of the cavalry, that is totally fine. They will charge right into it. Archers without getting engaged on by any of the infantry. Getting fires down the line. This be fine. All right. Let's try to get another group. It's okay if it's just uh, routing. Even if it rallies, I'll just come back for it. We'll try to do as much damage as we can. They are losing all their. 
defense just so we don't get flanked on. I need these guys to form up right here in the water. Spread these out. And shatter that. We'll ignore the spear guards. They're too slow. Okay, good, good, good. Shoot them down. These two are both route. Gonna charge in here. No abilities. Crash back. Catapult's done. Everyone's engaged. Um, come over here. Then we shoot that. Fly up. Fly up. Alright, come to the side. Let's not get caught. Get a flank off. Uh, if you're out of arrows, engage, engage. That's a big problem. Right. Can't charge those guys. You are just... It's okay, I don't blame you. Your level is slow. You're doing okay. Don't want to pull him. He's going to route. General's going to be okay. What's the flanking doing? Everybody will Now we shatter the... Let's 
事已尽，无法继续射击了。盾甲不留，杀光敌军。One here. One can go back and help out on Lenzhou. This definitely wasn't a clean fight, but we definitely won this fight. Unbreakable. This fight, I'm gonna get everyone to chase a little bit. That one spear guy was it? Okay, let's kill these 29. All right, let's just speed it up. Left. Let's clean that up a little bit. No, there's nothing to chase. They all got out. We can try to chase the calf, but I don't think we can do it. Lynch, we're gonna let we're gonna let the generals run. Because if they get out, there's a good chance we capture them. Alright, heroic victory. Wow. It wasn't a very clean fight. Wow, Ventro killed 152 men. That's impressive. Well, Guan Yu took care of 356. Hey, Yuan Shao went to the vassal position. Anyway, so this is a hero victory, even though I don't feel like I did well. Oh, Ventro is willing to join us. Wow. Oh, we captured Yuan Shao as well. Wow, okay. Xu Oh, Xu Yu is not really good in the army. Minus two satisfaction. But he is plus two public order. Plus ten for maximum spying. Well, he is a good strategist. I would like to employ him. Okay, we'll take Xu Yu. Now, as for Ventro, I mean, I already killed your friend. You only have a good armor. I mean, he has decent stats. Now, Yuan Shao is the issue here. Porcelain cup. Hmm. It's 
not super great. But it is a silver piece. If I kill him, I would also have to kill him. Because they're friends. But I am not going to release him. Okay, so execution it is. And execution for control as well. I really want the replenishment rate, but the plus three unity is tempting too. We're gonna be spending a lot of turns recouping this battle. Alright, sucker for unity. Seven turns. He almost died. Yeah, Drown Face is really not gonna get along with any strategist. Maybe Xu Yu. These are the three items we gained from that fight. Alright, Miju and Liu Bei has become friends. Yuan Shao and Liu Bei has become rivals. Well, off with his head. And yep, I guess the event with Zhao Yan didn't happen. Loss is pretty big. They, they don't have generals anymore. This is just a empty army. I am gonna just automate this. There's, there's no point. Alright, unity points. And I can always just come back right after. Alright, it is spring again. Yeah, relationship lost because he's dead. And I'm rival with his son, Yuan Xi. That makes sense. Alright, which reform should we take? Uh, we're going to take this one just because we would like to upgrade that building and also the increase of commerce is pretty good looking ahead yeah these are some nice tech Tom has two more turns Taishan is repairing Ying Shao Yeah, we're content. We really just need to let this army recover. Alright, Yuan Shao is dead, replaced by Yuan Tan, okay. Yuan Tan has asked their vassal Liu Dai to join the war against me. And then Liu Dai is destroyed. Tao Ying declared war on Yuan Shu. Uh, Zhe Rong declared war on Cao Cao. New character development. Acquired an iron sickle. I am rival with Lady Liu. Lady Liu is Yuan Shao's wife. Ah, because I killed her husband. Okay. I guess we don't have this rivalry anymore because he didn't become faction leader. Uh, I guess that's why. 
two new characters. Uh, let's see. 36, warrior, generic. Does have high instinct though. Alright, roar of the beast. Alright. Not good, not interested. Mihong, manipulator, 22. I wonder if you're related to our friend Mitru over here. You might be. Stuart, vigilant, gracious, Kunro. Fourth strategist. This might be a little overload because now we have Suyo as well. Okay. Liu Bei's army needs turns to replenish. Lots of turns to replenish. We do want to make a move against uh, Ping Yuan. Now that they're weakened, who killed Liu Dai? Ah, Liu Biao, me, Liu Biao killed Liu Dai. Okay, let's see if we can talk to Liu Biao. Do you want to sign a non-aggression pack? Now he's suing for peace. Uh, I'm gonna go cross the river after I recruit most of my troops. He actually gets along decently well with Suyo. What about Suyo's skill tree? Oh, he has the good tree. This is what you want to see, right in the middle. Two more levels, he'd be a perfect range general. Gonna give that to our administrator. And hand over the cunning to. Oh no, I closed the screen. Gotta wait a turn. It's okay, I'll give it to uh, Suyo. I mean, John Fei's gonna need a. Yeah, let's just hire him. I'm gonna swap him out for. Alright, this four archer, two trebuchet setup. We just need one frontline troop. Oh, Mi Heng actually likes strong fate. But he's he's level three as well. Wow, that's tough. Let me consider here. Mi Heng has a tunic as well. Has good skills. Inspiring Surge. Ugh, that's not a good place. That's not a good skill to have. But since he has the tunic, I'll go ahead and hire him. And... You 
Yeah, I don't know. That's probably it. Yeah. Having inspiring surge means you're on the wrong side. See, he needs at least one, two, three, four, five levels. Start moving Drum Face Army away. Well, I guess mustering. We'll wait a little bit and then move it away. We want Pingyuan. This will take turns too. There's their force. Long lock. Okay. Alright, now we have the tech. We can upgrade this. It also will unlock artisans for us. Still so many turns away from full replenishment on this army. Alright, Yuan Xi, Yuan Shang, Zhao Du. Okay. Not a scary army. I agree we should peace out, but you're asking way too much, man. Zhang Yet declared war on Yellow Turban. Zhang Fei gained energetic. Plus campaign movement, that's great. New character development. Okay, I think I've seen these two already. This is new. Age 22, Inspector is very common. He is beautiful, elusive, and loyal. It's pretty good actually. He's greedy. Okay, this is like the opposite case. This is a pretty good character, actually. I mean, I would welcome him, but I'm not sure right now. Three turns seems a bit so. Autumn, winter. After next spring, we can move out again. Yeah, instead of going to negative 100, we somehow recover back almost to positive. Two more turns. So one more turn, we can start moving it. No, thank you. They're trying really hard to vassalize us. Sparring partner? Come on, this, this is not possible. He's a strategist who runs away every fight. Okay, he still has the energy to declare war on Han Fu. Mm. 
心怀大意，出发！启帆远航，正在行进，英勇奋战！All right, let's take a look at these new people of merits. We have Fu Wat, a strategist, uh, age 29, generic. He is spiteful, uh, which is okay if you know if the character is never going to be a prime minister, heir, or faction leader. Uh, this is a positive stat in that case. Um, this is minus for cunning, vain, plus 25% retinue upkeep. Okay, this is not great. Um, and then agile, uh, plus for expertise, plus 10 melee vision. So the extra stats are all good. The 25% retinue upkeep and minus for cunning uh, kind of hurt him. Yeah, uh, I have so many strategists right now. Uh, in my camp. I am just not going to be hiring him. Uh, this guy, Han Zhuzi, Han Zhuzi, uh, Vanguard, he's a hunter, which is a uh, generic uh, tagline, uh, but it does have plus 5 resolve, plus 10 instinct, which is where we like to see the stat to be in. Uh, 35 is a decent age, level 4 is very strong. Um, oh, he has a uh, Military G as his weapon, so that is good news. Um, he has Flame of the Phoenix, splash damage as a skill. Coordinated, plus 6 expertise, that should help his melee evasion, plus 10 maximum coverage when spying. He is not available to spy for us. I don't know if it's because he's just not available, or is it because uh, we haven't unlocked it. Uh, you unlock the ability to spy once you rank up uh, to Marquis, uh, second Marquis, I believe. So we're not there yet. So maybe he could spy, and this would come into hand. Uh, you know, could be handy for us. Stort plus six more expertise, plus two resolve, plus five income from all sources. But I doubt that will ever become active. Um, this uh, this is good. Uh, this has plus four resolve, plus four authority, plus two food production as a uh, minister commandery. Used to work for Gong Sun Tu. Uh, wonder if Gong Sun Tu is still on the map. Um, level four, a little hesitant to hire him. Um, he might be unhappy with me right away. Um, although the weapon's nice, I probably could hire him, take the weapon, and banish him, or uh, at least uh, release him. Um, at this point, I don't need another Vanguard. Currently, we're still trying to fill up. John face army so John I, I would like one cavalry uh, uh, related general in each army John Fei is playing that role in the second army and Liu Bei is playing that role in the first army and we don't have a third army slot nor have the money to make it happen so yeah let's leave these guys we're in the spring of 197 uh, so we can unlock a new tech tree um, the one we're probably going to be going for is the one that unlocks the guest house, uh, which is uh, Liu Bo. Um, I think that's the best tech to go for, unless I want to get the one that has the mining discount. Yeah, the mining discount will be additional 20% discount on building mines. Uh, before we do that, let's put Zhenyun back in for construction. 20% uh, discount on mines would help us because we are about to take the salt mine as well in Pingyuan. Um, let's see. So, given how centralized Don is, if you take a look, it borders a lot of different commanderies. Therefore, the direction we want to go with the state workshop is actually to bring it to the currency inspector office. If you take a look, or the tree on the right, uh, you lose out a lot of income. At the end, you only get 300 industry uh, income versus 500, but you do get a minus 15% adjacent commandery uh, corruption uh, reduction. This is very powerful late game. 
So that's the direction we're going to go, meaning this initial upgrade will only give us 10% corruption reduction in our uh, own commandery. And with the size of our uh, empire right now, we don't have any corruption issue. So we're going to hold off on this as it brings no financial benefit for us. Um, another route we can take is upgrading uh, the pier, but it's a lot of money and a lot of turns for just 30 commerce gold increase. I mean, we do have 215% commerce boost. So the 30 is going to turn out to mean around 90 uh, total increase to commerce gold, uh, as well as the one food. Uh, we might need this because we're about to take Pingyuan. Uh, and Pingyuan doesn't have, it has an industry building. I think this is the horse exchange. This doesn't look like a food production building either. And it's been upgraded to a small city. Uh, therefore, we only, we're gonna need two food when we take it. So we might need to upgrade this building to get that one additional food. Uh, as well as the 90 income would be nice. Um, let's take a look. If we go here and go this route, we don't need any required tech, so that's not going to influence our tech tree decision. Let's take a look at the tech tree, or the reform tree. This is the mining uh, cost reduction. It also unlocks level 4 mines for jade, um, copper, and iron. Which is nice. Um, it leads to the next reform, which gives 20% income total to industry. Mm. Versus going for Liu Bo, which gives us 25% trade influence, guest house availability. But it probably means we have to hold off, uh, hold off on upgrading the mines in uh, Pingyuan. Um, for a while and upgrading the mines could give us additional garrison forces in the mines in Pingyuan which would be helpful so I think I'm gonna go shaft mining for now yeah ah, Mi Hung is unhappy with us because of desire for higher core position Ah, he's currently a warrior, so he's the lowest level. That makes sense. We will upgrade him, um, unless. Okay, let me give me a thing to think about this. He has the build that he's on right now. He's very likely to just be an administrator because he is far away from all the required tech to be a good archery commander he's what one more to get food once you level up one more and then he can get this one which is kind of useless for him but then he can head over to get industry as well as commerce gold so it'll take him four levels to go full efficient um, uh, administrator but it'll take him one two three I guess three levels to be a good general so maybe not maybe we'll up upgrade him because if he could be administrator i'll just put him in the administrator role and he will be instantly satisfied um, unless he's below uh, he's within level four so we'll, we'll give him a raise this is pathetic we don't need any uh warriors. all right that bounces him back let's take a look at what we can build we're holding off on building a dome because we're waiting for the assignment uh taishan could be built um Yeah, I don't think any of these are worth it. Oh, there is an issue though. Taishan has 210 commerce income. Okay, still the highest. So we still want to pump the 75% over there. We're not developing these two cities. Yes, I'm just hoarding gold. And when we will take Pingyuan next turn, Zhang Fei will defend our land from possible invasion from Yuan Tan 
and let's move on. Remain hungry, Liu Bei. Um, Accelerate gain discourse of the state for Liu Bei. This provides minus 5% corruption uh, faction wide. Uh, very good item. But currently, if you look at it for our faction leader, Liu Bei, he's equipped with a merchant and the nine chapters of mathematical art, which is a set, uh, giving him 10% trade influence and then additional 25% trade influence from the set. So we're not going to be altering this. Um, we can give it to one of the guys who's unhappy with us, but they all have an item in the third slot right now. Yeah, pretty much everyone has an item in the third slot. We'll just hold off on using it. Trait gain. Liu Bei has gained Cordial. Uh, plus 2 cunning, plus 6 authority, plus 10% income from commerce, a minister, commandery. Yeah, it makes me kind of want to make him a minister. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, faction leader is all good. But the stat boost is, is nice. And, oh, other than the book, uh, we also got a Devious Attendant. Plus 2 Cunning, plus 2 Authority. Uh, I think we can use the guy though. Yet, yeah, let's see. Who's Cunning and Authority? So probably Xu Yu because he's currently serving in the army. Oh, this is even better. Cryptographer, uh, plus four cunning. Yeah, let's take Mihong and give him the devious attendant. Perfect. Um, yeah, these guys aren't getting along with uh, Yu Fan. Like, I gotta move them out of the city dome um, eventually. Maybe after Guan Yu sweeps across. We can trade places and Zhang Fei can be the defending force up north. Because um, down south, we're kind of stuck. If we look at the diplomatic uh, the attitude towards us, um, there's a potential of Wang Lang fighting us. Liu Biao is now our neighbor as well. Uh, Tao Ying and Kong Rong are good friends. Uh, there's really no threat from the east and most of the south. Towards the west, there's a potential for war. And the north, we're currently in a war, so him staying there makes perfect sense for us all right let's turn back our attention to our army attacking Ping and salt mine let's send them in all right uh, let's take a look at the map the garrison is pathetically small uh, the salt mine uh, is a little different from the iron mine despite both being mine um, it makes sense though because you use uh, you kind of put puddles of water to uh, mine out the salt, so it's kind of a flat basin area. Uh, it's not as easily defensible as the iron mine, because iron mine has three sides that's all mountain, whereas here you have five entrances. Uh, we're not going to waste any turns, we're just going to be fighting this. We'll turn on night battle for the additional morale damage to the enemy, and with trebuchets we will take the battle easy. Alright, so this is the salt mine. It's gigantic. Um, we're just gonna pick a side. We're, we're, I, don't, I don't believe we're ever gonna charge in. Yeah, the salt mine, unlike the iron mine, the entrances are very spread out. And the cover fire, co the coverage for like how each uh, tower could cover the other towers is very poor. Like, we can attack from this way, and we only ever have to face these two turrets. Um, none of the other turrets can assist uh, over here. So we're just gonna put, plop our trebuchets down here. Yep, this is good. We cover some of the mine. That way the defender at the gate we can fire on them right away. We'll open up fire arrows for anyone who's charging out at us. Um, three units on the right flank. Three units on the right flank. With the amount of units they have, I don't even need to put um, infantrymen in the front. Rather, gonna keep it in the back to just let them handle it. And they do have two archer units, so if they do start firing us, we'll just activate little base ability and take out the damage. All right, let's go. Oh, 
We still don't have fire shots on them. He needs one more level. But eventually we'll get there. Okay, so another issue we have right now is because the basin, we don't have vision on the enemy, even though I know they're there. So I'm gonna run Guan Yu up on a hill. Yeah, this place is safe. Oh, never mind, they're running out. Guan Yu can chill. They're charging out. Alright, Triple Shade is ready to go to work. Let's just cinematic mode this, because I don't think I need to be doing anything in this game. Uh, other than maybe a Liu Bei ability use. Alright, so... Before we do that, I'm gonna get the Tribuchet to attack the two. Oh, they're not even gonna make it. Yeah, the morale damage really hurts. Alright, everyone's minus 15 morale. They already turned their back. Just, okay, we won the battle. We, we didn't even do anything. Didn't we win? Yep, we already won. If this is just, we won because it's a night battle. There's like no other reason. Alright, that wasn't really a battle. They were just demoralized little kids. Alright, so we taken Pingyuan. Alright, we have some new neighbors uh, in Bohai. We have Gong Sun Zan. Uh, as you can see, we have a past relationship with Gong Sun Zan. If you uh, checked out our episode 0, uh, they, uh, Gong Sun Zan and Liu Bei used to be classmates. Um, and Gong Sun Zan probably still have Zhao Yun, who never showed up as an event for me in this playthrough. Let's take a look. Gong Sun Zan's right here. Zhao Yun. Yeah, Zhao Yun is still... Wait, where is he as a character? Zhao Yun, Zhao Yun, Zhao Yun. Yeah, he's still flying under Gong Sun Zan's flag. If our relationship maintains uh, to be good... Oh, Mi Zhu he... Oh, Mi Zhu and uh, Liu Bei become Oathborn. Oathborn, very good. If the relationship remains good, uh, we'll just be friends with him. If it deteriorates um, and he would like to fight us, we would be happy to try to take Zhao Yun away from him uh, with force. We also see Han Fu. Uh, Han Fu and us are uh, in a good place right now because Han Fu is currently still uh, in a war with Yuan Shao, or uh, Yuan Tan, I guess Yuan Tan now. So, enemy of our enemy is our friend. Uh, we're not going to upgrade the salt mine. Uh, because we don't, A, it's still, um, we don't have full faction support, so we're not making the most money out of it, as well as B, we haven't, did we? We haven't taken the mining discount, did we? Oh, we did take the mining discount. Okay, so once we take Ping Yuan and get assignment in there, we might start upgrading it. Uh, talking about assignments, the assignment here is now active. Uh, I guess since we took that tech, we're obligated to go down this route. It is much cheaper now. Uh, if you do a relative price comparison, you gain 100 extra industry gold at 35% boost, 135. Uh, divide that out from that, uh, it's a little less than, it's 20? No, it's one, goes into a once 105, so it's like 17-ish plus 3, uh, so it's 20 turn uh, investment before we break even on the price. Um, but 20 turn investment is, is decent, so we'll upgrade this. Uh, Zhang Fei's force, I want to move them out, but the threat of Yuan Tan across the sea is really bothering me. These guys will just be a little bit unhappy with each other. We just have to live with that. Uh, tai Shen. Ah, oh, the public order is finally going down again. Now everyone's gone because of our tax collection building. If we demolish this, this wouldn't be an issue, but should we go back to our original plan of trying to trigger a negative 100 and get a rebellion out to crush? I guess we could. We have an army nearby. A rebellion will show up either here or here, and we'll just march our army over and take care of it. That would be fine. We'll use the extra 150 per turn income. If you look at our commander income, uh, Dong's giving us over a thousand, 
This is almost a thousand. These are just, you know, extras. We haven't really developed them. Our army unit upkeep is 2,500. Character salary is 1325. There's 28 building upkeep. Basically 30. We have a discount here in Dome. Um, our income. Our commander income covers our unit upkeep. Our trade income and other others covers unit salary. Yeah. Uh, this works okay. We have 13... Hundred a turn. Yeah, that's decent gold. Hopefully, we'll increase that as we take Pingyuan. Uh, although the food issue is going to come up as we take Pingyuan. So after this, we probably have to go this way because I don't think Pingyuan has any food uh, in place. Marketplace in State Workshop is the three building he has. So no food production PM, but cost two food to hold. Um, so we gotta fix that. Alright, on to next turn. Ah, Gong Su Zan has come to negotiate for military access. Um, before we do that, I wonder if we could get a non-aggression pack with him first. Yes, let's do that. Um, do you have good regular payments or... Yeah, I think you do have good regular payment. This is quite high. 5.3 is high. When you negotiate some uh, a number that's like l above 3, you want to get a mix of both. Because if you notice, like say per turn payment, in the beginning, I bump quite a bit. Uh, but the number is not going up much. Eventually, we're going to notice a big jump. Okay, so we're already jumping, you know, by 0.5. Right, you see that? 0 0.5, 0 0.7. So that's a big jump. So we want to go down a little bit. And then here we can make up the rest with this, which also is giving us plenty of gold, but not such big jumps. Right, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Alright, so now we just have to get a good mix of both. Uh, this requires a little tinkering. Um, let's say 420. That works. Uh, maybe 145, nope, but that's extra 40 gold, so let's take away a little, yep, okay, so we're going to take this deal, uh, it'll end up netting us about a little less than 2,000 gold, and he'll be very happy with us. So the level of uh, diplomatic treaty is uh, non-aggression pack, then military access, if you sign it in that order you can sign both if you jump right away to i think if you jump right away to military access you can't sign non-aggression pack because i think it's assumed right non-aggression is you promise not to attack each other military access is you allow the enemy to send troops through your border so that's how it works um let's put that to the test actually if we go back and talk to Gong Sun Zan. See, we can still do military access. And he'll be happy to sign with us. So we can actually get another uh, set of payments from him. Uh, except for he is poor now. Uh, per turn wise, it's probably not going to happen. So we're just going to try to extract as much lump sum cash as possible from him. Yep, 450. I am happy with that. And you get another additional 35 attitude boost with him. Right. I don't mind giving him military access. That is totally fine. We're also touching Han Fu now. Uh, well, we have a positive relationship with him. See, he's trending downwards. Uh, we'll try to sign. Oh, well, you? You, we could try to sign some uh, a, a negotiation with him. Uh, you can right click on him to jump into negotiation. You don't have to left click and then hit ne negotiation. Um, yep, he's a war with. But he's a war with Gong Sunzan though. So there's a conflict there. Uh, but maybe they won't have conflict with me. Yep, and we'll make him pay for us not fighting him uh, Since we do have a fresh army on the side. Everyone's slightly afraid of me. Okay, that's a huge jump from 2.1 to uh, 2.6 uh, Let's bump this back to 2.1 will be 150 2.3. Okay, and here we'll bump it to 2.2 to match Maybe 250. Okay, that's not good. 249. Okay, 
Right, so we're getting another 1,700 cash from him, and he's also happy to sign that with us. I also don't mind giving him military access. Yeah, he's happy to take it from us. And we'll grab some more payment. 2.8. Well, 2.8 is that natural jump right here. 150. Yeah, that jump of 100 gold is 0.7. Uh, which is okay actually right so if we take this out and we just ask for a lump sum of maybe 170 oh that's way too much 160 158 yeah perfect 158 all right so we're signing documents with all the neighbors we're going to focus on finishing off Yuan Tan. uh signing that order is great if you look at Kongro, we signed a military access, so now we're not able to sign an aggression pack. Um, let's see for Taoying. Yeah, we have a military access. We also can't sign non aggression pack. Uh, Wang La, he's not. Oh, it's negative one. It's not bad. Maybe he'll sign something with us. No, we gotta pay him to sign stuff with us. So he eventually might become a threat. But a negative one really shouldn't turn on me. Okay. Let's jump back out. We're going to be marching towards Pingyuan. Um, this city is fine. We don't have to garrison here for any reason. We'll put it under siege. Uh, now we have Tribuche, our army. You don't have to build siege weapons. You could jump right into a battle. Uh, but uh, tribuches are terrible at hitting uh, arrow towers that are on the wall. Uh, pretty much you, you can use up all your ammo and you do nothing. So we are going to take two turns to sap a wall. And we will hope to get a night battle eventually. But we'll continue siege right now. Uh, there is no threat of like a garrison army in here already and then another army coming to uh, reinforce that because it's just a basic garrison if they do send one army to come uh, to relieve the siege I'll happy to take on that army plus the garrison so we'll the siege for now uh, we'll fight this in the next episode let's just take care of the, uh, the character development for now and then call this uh, bring this to an end We got Liang Fu. Uh, Liang Fu is a generic magistrate. High authority stats. That's good to see. Uh, no special item. Also has the stone uh, Boric, which means he starts on the left side of the skill tree, I believe. Um, oh, wait, misclicked. He's disloyal. That is strike one, two, three. He's beautiful and artful. Uh, everything's good except for disloyal. I, I can't deal with this loyal. So we're not hiring him. Uh, Tang Wenning. Tang Wenning. Uh, sentry is good. Uh, we have always put our sentry to work in assignments. Um, so it'd be nice to have another one. He has good authority and uh, expertise stats. Not excellent, but you know, decent. Has admin resolve as a skill. I don't know, this melee evasion, I think it's the right hand side of the skill tree. He's charismatic, which is great um, for public order as a administrator, but he does have increased ambition to for independence at that point. This is where he got high authority stats, tw plus 12 authority. Uh, he's incompetent, okay. This uh, limits his potential as a character. Minus 20% character experience is going to hurt. You might, you might think that, yeah, he won't level up as much and he will be cheap. But late game, you really want those skills. And then this also takes minus 4 expertise. And he's arrogant. Which is okay, because we're probably not going to use him to fight. Uh, I'm going to hold off on picking him. He's also 42, so he's not on the young side. There's always this option, right? Yijing. Yijing is, the problem is what? Why didn't we hire him before? Oh. I don't see a problem. Admin resolve, right? 
Very good expertise. No big negative stats. Oh, he's old. That's right. That's why we didn't hire him. He's 54. Okay. So we have put them under siege. We have a construction going up in Dome. Uh, we're going to be negative one food when we take it. Uh, this is our plan of causing a rebellion in Taishan is continuing. Um, let's see what else is going on. Beihai is still being ignored. Langya is still being ignored. Although I could upgrade this building one time and we would have the necessary food. This will be four turns. We're planning to fight that in two turn. We could convert this over and convert this over. The 25 food production. It might just work because 25 food production here plus the 25 food production from being a high fertility uh, commandery. The 50% might push it over, right? Two times 50, you know, it's like two point, it's, just, it's gonna be three. So that's gonna be the one additional food we need. And this will just take two turns of conversion. We will incur a 10 upkeep per turn um, penalty here. And 10%, yeah. And we'll lose out on potentially what, five, 5.5 gold so we're losing out 15.5 gold to have positive global food and to set bay high potentially in the future as upgrade path so i guess let's let's start doing that um from these two let's upgrade this one first yep we're finally changing bay high up because we're desperate for food and that should end it um our current situation is uh, as such we have made friends with our uh, neighbors to the east and south as well as our two new neighbors to the north and we're focused on taking over Yuan Han's land following the death of Yuan Shao in this episode uh, thank you guys for watching uh, hope you guys enjoy the content uh, if you do please like subscribe and comment below to show support and stay tuned for next episode where we will take over Pingyuan uh, and continue our campaign into Yuan Tan's land and whatever uh, surprise the game might uh, hold for us because if you notice Liu Bao is ready not happy with us all right that's all have a nice day bye